Great, thanks so much, Peter. Um, and I'm really happy to be here and working in coalition with so many amazing groups directly and indirectly. Um, so as Peter mentioned, my name is Karen Rasky, um, and I'm a senior organizer for equitable economic development um, at the Association for Neighborhood and Housing Development, um, we call ANHD for short. Um, and we're a, kind of a membership organization of over 80 neighborhood-based uh, CBOs working for affordable housing and thriving neighborhoods. Um, and for the last five years, we've really been focused on, um, as one of our strategies for equitable economic growth, um, supporting commercial tenants and fighting against small business displacement by convening the United for Small Business Coalition, um, also known as USBNYC. And Bulls has been a really active member of that coalition for several years now. Um, and we've been lucky to accomplish some, um, some really powerful victories, even in the midst of these very challenging times. Uh, so USBNYC is a coalition of community groups who support, organize, and represent small businesses, uh, mainly in low-income communities uh, and communities of color. Um, and in the last five years, we have won city legislation against tenant harassment. Uh, we've helped create a program to track data on commercial properties, and we've also seen, um, as you heard from this video, um, the creation of the Commercial Lease Assistance Program. Um, so CLA was launched in the spring of 2018 by SBS um, as a result of USBNYC's organizing. Um, and as Arthur mentioned in the video that we just saw, it's been an incredibly important resource uh, for small business tenants, especially during COVID. Um, so our coalition includes legal service providers like Bowles, um, who help small business owners um, go with lease negotiations, um, and disputes with their landlords. Um, and it also includes community partners uh, who refer their members um, to Bulls and other uh, providers for legal support. So it's really, we've been able to create um, both the advocacy to help um, bring these programs into being, and then also the, the um, kind of organizational infrastructure to help our small businesses um, survive. Um, and it's really surprising for a lot of people to learn how few protections and regulations exist for small businesses in New York City, um, especially given that they're, such, they're playing such a central role in the city's economy and the city's identity. But small businesses who rent their space really are at the mercy of their landlord, um, and many of them have a hard time negotiating a fair lease in this climate, um, and many uh, don't have a lease at all. So business owners from marginalized communities, as you can imagine, uh, are at an extra disadvantage, especially if English is not their first language, um, if they're in a neighborhood that's gentrifying and rents are rising. Um, so the CLA program is a really important way to level the playing field between property owners and commercial tenants um, and give business owners the tools that they need to fight displacement. Um, so unsurprisingly, uh, it's been a really devastating year for um, a lot of the small businesses that uh, Bulls and our other coalition members work with. Um, so given the situation this year and the number of businesses needing assistance, uh, we were really shocked to learn that CLA was being eliminated from the city budget this spring. Um, and the video that you saw was part of our effort um, to get council members and the mayor to restore funding for this important program in the budget. Um, and while it didn't happen in the budget, we actually were able to make an impact um, because a few months later, the city announced the restoration of the CLA program, and uh, we actually hope to see it reinstated um, very soon before the end of the year. So we're really, really excited about that um, and looking forward. Um, I know that Bulls has been continuing to provide support uh, to small business tenants um, as much as they can, but we're really looking forward to having that, um, that infrastructure available to prevent small business displacement. Um, you know, one of the most urgent issues for our coalition has always been the high cost of commercial rent. Um, in 2019, even before COVID, um, ANHD partnered with three other USBNYC member organizations, and we found that rent was the top concern for 82 of the business, 82 percent, excuse me, of the businesses that we spoke to. Um, so obviously, the loss of income and the uncertainty of the pandemic has made the situation much worse. Um, small businesses are on the hook for the inflated commercial rents that they pay, even during the time when they had to close for public health reasons. Um, but that we really haven't seen um, comprehensive solutions at any level of government, um, and each business owner is kind of left on their own to negotiate with their landlord. Um, and the longer that's the case, the more businesses are just going to decide to close because they can't make it work. Um, and so, 
Um, we have been advocating at the city and state level for comprehensive rent relief for small businesses um, that would be retroactive and going forward until the state of emergency is over. Um, and I think if there is no rent relief, unfortunately, we're going to see closures of the small businesses that provide affordable and culturally relevant services. We're going to see loss of employment for the people who work at those businesses and continued kind of consolidation of commercial space in fewer and fewer hands. Um, so it's definitely a, it's a challenging situation, but I think um, we are really lucky and in a unique situation compared to other cities to have a coalition like USBNYC that is really pushing back against this dynamic. Um, and we're so happy to have Bulls as a part of that coalition and a partner in that work. Thank you so much, Karen. And I really, with the restoration of the CLA program, shows the power of organizers like you working hand in hand with legal services. Um, so we really thank you for your partnership. Yes.